Well, these things take time. And, and yeah. even I actually wanted to ask you about yeah. this. So the whole social media marketing and stuff like that. I mean, we're seeing a crazy shift in, in social crazy. media. I mean, with this, we whole were just TikTok talking about thing. it. I mean, we were talking yeah. about it before the pod, but like, what, what have you noticed or, or what are things like that Dude, you've seen like over the last couple months? Year, like, isn't it crazy? It's, it's honestly frustrating. Like I know a lot of people out there are trying to get views and you know, one thing that was working last week isn't going to work this week. You know, Instagram is, is, and TikTok and all these platforms, they're trying different things out weekly. You know, if you read anything about it or, or listen to any podcast of people who are knowledgeable, they're changing things weekly, man. You know, and, you know, my first Instagram reel that, like, popped off got, like, 50,000 views. And I was like, yes, like, this is fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, like, <laughs> I was like, let's fucking go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then the next one did, like, 9,000. And I was like, what did I do wrong? Because, like, the next one was, you know, I thought even more fire than, than that one. Yeah. So, you know, if I had to tell anyone out there, Make your content shorter. Don't make it a minute long. Don't make it 30 seconds long. Make it 10, 15 seconds long because nobody, you know, has time these days. You know, TikTok has made us all, you know, not have time. It's unbelievable you know? how much it changed the game. Like, yeah. even scrolling through Instagram now, it's just scrolling up, like, just like right. you do on TikTok. And if it, if it doesn't, you just keep going. And right. it's crazy. I do. I said this when I was talking to Tobias because he's into videography and he's. Right. I think you know he basically makes his living on, right. on doing a lot of that social media stuff. Right. But he was talking about the frustrations as well with TikTok and all that. Uh, there's pros and cons, but I, I do I do not like how it has shortened everybody's attention span and and almost put everything all over the map. Like you don't really know what's actually going to resonate with people. Right. And then there's people like I hack the algorithm and this and that. I, I call bullshit. I mean, if you know, if right. you, you, like you don't know exactly what's going to resonate with people. I'm sure when you do hit, then you know, right. okay, well that hit with people. Let's do something similar. That's what I do like about it is because when you do get something that works, you could kind of go off that and be like, okay, that worked. Let's try something similar. And, and kind of piggyback off that. Right. And I'm at the point where I don't even give a shit about the, the likes or the views or anything like that. Yep. I care, like, if it resonates with people. Yep. If it resonates with you and I get less likes and less views, awesome. Then the content is good, you know? Um, but I'm not, I'm not you know, out there to do a million. I mean, listen, if I get a million views, I'm going to be yeah, happy. We're taking that. I'm going to be happy as shit. <laughs> don't get me wrong, you know? Yeah. But I'm more along the lines of resonating with people. Like, did you enjoy it? You know, stuff like that. Because I'm trying to create a variety of content. I don't want it to be just about me DJing because that's that doesn't define who I am. They say it about athletes. All, I know you're a big sports guy. Yep. You know, and they say about athletes, like, being a football player, a baseball player doesn't define you. Being a DJ doesn't define me. Like, I have so much more that goes on in my life than just music. You know, but being a DJ is what people know me for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my goal this year is to get a lot of, variety content out there like this, like the podcast, you know, I think it's good for people to see if you're someone like me who wants to post, you know, all sides of me, you know, that I'm willing to share, obviously. I, th I think exactly. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I think when people get to know who you are, it's even better. It's more advantageous for building whatever you're trying to build because it's going to knock off the people that see that. And they're like, okay, well that's not really for me, but the right. people that are into it and they, they learn about who you are it connects you way closer with them. Right. Like it, 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 and, and you were just talking about when you were saying like, we saw your Instagram and like that energy you were putting Bro, out and all your redisms and stuff. Electric. Like absolutely electric <laughs> juice to the fucking gills. Dog. 